Good evening and a welcome to Compline. Let's just take a moment to gather our thoughts as we begin. Find rest, O oh my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from him. Come I this night to the Father. Come I this night to the Son. Come I to the Holy Spirit, powerful. Come I this night to God. Come I this night with Christ. Come I with the spirit of kindness. Come I to thee, Jesus. Jesus, shelter me. I will lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. By day the Lord directs his love. At night his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. This dwelling, O God, by thee be blessed, and each one who here this night does rest. May God be in my sleep, may Christ be in my dreams, may the Spirit be in my repose, in my thoughts, in my heart, in my soul always. May the sacred three dwell. May the Father of heaven have care of my soul. His loving arm about my body through each slumber and sleep of my life. The Son of God be shielding me from harm. The Son of God be shielding me from ill. The Son of God be shielding me with power. The Son of God be shielding me this night. Tonight from our book by Nick Fawcett called Daily Prayer, we are grappling with God. Genesis 32. Jacob was left alone and a man wrestled with him there until dawn. When the man saw that he had not defeated Jacob, he struck him on the thigh as they wrestled, such that his disl he dislocated Jacob's hip and said, he said, let go of me for dawn is breaking. But Jacob responded, I will not let go unless you bless me. What is your name? He asked Jacob. What is his name? What is your name? He asked. Jacob, came the reply. Then the man said, you will no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. For you have contended both with God and with humans and prevailed. Then Jacob asked him, please tell me your name. Why do you ask my name, he said. But then he gave him his blessing. So Jacob called the place Peniel, saying, I have seen God face to face, and yet my life has been spared. The sun rose upon him as he passed Peniel, limping because of his hip. Something to ponder. Grappling with God. That's a strange idea, isn't it? Very different from a more traditional picture of humbly and obediently accepting God's will. Yet that is what we find in one of the most dramatic, if enigmatic, incidents in the Bible. The imagery is crude, if not shocking. A mysterious stranger who accosts Jacob by the ford at Jabbok turned out to be none other than God himself. More puzzling still, so tenaciously does Jacob hold fast during the ensuing test of strength that God is unable to extricate himself without first granting a blessing. Yes, Alice might have said, it all gets curiouser and curiouser. Yet it is precisely the primitiveness of this encounter that, for me, makes it so compelling. There is no false piety here, no alabaster saint as far removed from our human condition as it is possible to be. Here is an individual like you or me, coming warts and all before God and struggling to come to terms with the complex realities of life and faith. Who knows quite what Jacob wrestled with in the darkness of that night? Doubt, fear, pride, guilt, you name it, and it was probably there. Symbolic the whole story may be, but its power remains undiminished, giving hope and encouragement to all those who grapple with God in turn. So ask yourself this evening, to whom do you think Jacob was grappling in his strange encounter? Himself or God? 
with what aspects of faith do you find yourself wrestling? Let's pray. Almighty God, I have no claim on your love, no reason to feel I deserve it, for I am false and faithless in so much. But I want to know and serve you better, to glimpse your glory, understand your greatness and receive your blessing. I want to taste more of your goodness and experience more of your grace, to know your power within me so I come resolved to take hold of the new life you have promised. I'm determined to struggle for it despite all that gets in my way. Respond to me, I pray, as I have come to you. So come to me through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen. Sleep or sleep in the calm of each calm. Sleep or sleep in the guidance of all guidance. Sleep or sleep in the love of all loves. Sleep or beloved in the Lord of life. Sleep, O oh beloved, in the God of life. The peace of all peace be mine this night, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me and Ted for Compline on this Thursday evening. Please remember to take care of yourselves when you're looking after others. Remember to pray for yourself too, when you sit down and pray for the world and people around you. And how big is God? bigger than you think. Good night and God bless you.